Hi guys, welcome to Virtual AI and Hybris Technologies. In this tutorial, I am going to give an introduction about Git Bash, how to install Git Bash and its features. So let's get started. Let's understand what is Git Bash. Git Bash is an application for Microsoft Windows that provides Git command line tools, a Bash emulation environment. It's part of Git for Windows and allows users to run Unix style commands on Windows system. Bash is especially useful for developers working with Git repositories in a Linux like terminal environment on Windows. Git fully supports cross platform development. Git runs on major operating systems like Linux, Windows, Mac, etc. Git provides cross platform support. We can clone, commit, push, and pull code across platforms without issues. That is, Git repository created on one OS can be used on another OS seamlessly. So let's download Git setup. Open browser. Here type https double slash git hyphen scm dot com enter so here we landed on official website so we can see here download photos here we can see git for windows 64 bit setup so just to check our system OS whether it is 64 bit or 32 bit we need to right click on the this PC icon go to properties so here we can see system type 64 bit operating system so we need to download 64 bit setup click on this link now the download process will start Once the download process is complete, we can start installation process. So now the download process completed, click on this setup file. Now you will get a pop-up. Uh, click on S, pop-up to install. Click on next. Here we can see program files. By default, it's selected. Means it is a directory where 64 bit softwares will get installed. Click on next. Under this directory, a git folder or directory is going to create. Under that, a software everything will get installed. Here I am selecting this checkbox to create an icon of git on desktop. Here, this is a new feature. Add a git bash profile to Windows terminal. Click on this. I am also clicking on this option to get the updates of git for windows updates so click on next in your case you also select this option so click on next uh, next uh, here it will provide a list of editors in top down list so if you are comfortable with any editor you can select or else you can or default settings editor click on next here in our previous projects the default branch name was a master but nowadays when we are working on the new projects when we create a new repositories the default branch name we maintain as main so select the second radio button option to create the default branch name as main click on next if you want to continue with this option you can continue. but i recommend to follow the latest rules in creating the repositories names click on next here 
git from the command line and also from third party software so continue with the second option click on next yeah continue with the first option use bundled open ssh this uses ssh.exe that comes with git click on next so here continue with the second option use the native windows secure channel library server certificate will be validated using windows certificate stores this option also allows you to use your company's internal root ca certificates distributed example via active directory domain services so just continue with the second option click on next so this option provides cross platform support which i have addressed in the git bash introduction check out windows style commit unix style line endings git will convert lf to crlf when checking out the text files when committing text files crlf will be converted to lf for cross platform projects this is the recommended settings on windows core dot auto crlf is set to true this is actually here in this document i'll show you little bit briefly so it is a cross platform feature in git bash lf and crlf refers to line endings used in text fields in lf versus crlf format stands for used by lf line feed used by unix linux mac os crlf carriage return plus line feed used by windows in git bash lf to crlf and vice versa means it's about converting line endings between the unix style lf and windows style crlf this usually happens when you edit code on both windows and unix like systems git is set up to auto convert lines endings when checking files it's all about this feature So click on next so here we can see configure the terminal emulator to use with git bash uh, so continue with the first option next forward fast forward the current branch to the fetch branch when possible otherwise create a merge commit click on next choose a credentials helper git credentials manager click on next is set to true this provides a significant performance boost so please continue with the default settings click on install button launch git bash so with this the installation process of git bash completed successfully click on finish so this is the terminal a unix style command line interface for running git and bash commands features of git bash one bash shell two git integration 3 ssh support 4 scripting support 5 unix tools on windows 6 portability 7th cross platform support so git bash is a lightweight way to use git and linux style commands on windows it brings the power of unix or linux tools into your windows git workflow so thank you guys for watching this video
If you find an informative content in this video, please like this video and subscribe my channel for more informative videos. Thank you for your support.